We had a calculus test last Friday, and this is one of the problems. This is a piecewise function continuity problem, and this is the problem. Problem 14, let g of x equal x squared minus 2 when x is less than negative 1, negative 1 when x equals negative 1, and negative x over 2 minus 3 halves when x is greater than negative 1. Determine if g of x is continuous at x equals negative 1. And then it says here, justify your answer mathematically using correct notation. And this is where some of the students had trouble using correct notation. So that's a really big purpose of this video lesson today. Three conditions are needed for continuity. And uh, condition number one, that g of negative 1 in this case exists. And it does. g of negative 1 equals negative 1. Uh, second, that the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x exists, <clears throat> and we will have to determine that. And third, that g of negative 1 equals the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x. And so putting down the conditions in order, we will say, we will say g of negative 1 exists. And equals negative 1. That's the circle negative 1 here. Secondly, we need to ch check if the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x exists. And to do that, the limit from the left side, limit of the function from the left side, is going to have to equal the limit from the function from the right side of negative 1. Here, this is the bottom of the right side. x is greater than at the top less than x is less than negative 1. And to write this in proper notation, and this is what I was looking for, a limit as x approaches negative 1 on the left side of g of x equals the limit as x approaches negative 1 on the right side of g of x. Now I'm going to put a little question mark above here because we don't know if these limits are equal. And if these limits are equal, then the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x exists. So let's go through the process. Uh, we're going to take the left side. So we're going to say x squared minus 2. And in the place of x, we're going to put negative 1. We're testing at negative 1 squared. So this is x squared minus 2 is equal to, and we put the right side, we're going to put, we have negative x, so I'm going to put negative, and on the outside of the parentheses, negative 1 over 2 minus 3 halves. And so here we have each side set up. Let's go ahead and simplify. On the left side, we have uh, negative 1 squared here, which is going to be positive 1. So we have 1 minus 2. That's going to be on the left side. On the right side, we have negative negative 1. So that's going to be 1 half. We have 1 half minus 3 halves, and what we have on the left side, 1 minus 2 equals negative 1, and 1 half minus 3 halves is going to be uh, negative 2 halves, which equals negative 1. So in this case, we know that the limit does limit from the left side does equal the limit from the right side. Therefore, we say limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x exists and equals negative 1. And we look up here and we see that g of negative 1 exists and equals negative 1 half. So we say, uh, we, we 
conclude our statement by saying limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x equals g of negative 1, which equals negative 1. Therefore, uh, g of x is continuous. I'm going to run out of room here, just read it continuous at x equals negative 1. So I hope this video lesson has been helpful. Uh, the main thing I'm looking for here is the proper notation, the mathematical notation. So if we get in the practice of doing that, even if there happened to be a minor mistake here that you didn't answer the problem correctly, the main thing is getting the notation right because from there we can kind of fix the other errors as we go along. Hope again this has been helpful. Thanks for viewing.